I am Anil Kumar discussing with you a test paper on vectors. Now, we have already discussed how to find distance between point and a line which was 7e. We have also discussed distance between two planes. Now it is time to discuss distance between two lines. So let us look into this question in details. Now when we say distance between two lines we are assuming that they are skew lines right otherwise if they are intersecting lines then they will intersect the distance will be kind of zero right now in skew lines they are in parallel planes let us say we are given these two lines l1 and l2 i'm just labeling for simplicity then distance between these two lines should be the common perpendicular between them right so so we are looking for a perpendicular line to them so we just kind of perpendicular to both of them this is what we are looking for so that will give us the distance between the two points right now to find the distance what we do is we just take uh, the any two points on the line so line one will take point uh, one five three for example and in line two we'll take this point zero five minus two right so when you connect these points uh, that is not the minimum distance but when you take a projection of this along the normal that is the normal unit vector in that case you get the minimum distance between the points i hope the concept is clear so let us first begin by finding unit vector n right so n as such will be equals to cross product of these two directions so that will be when you do cross product, you get normal, right? So it will be normal to both. So first step is to find cross product. So 2 minus 1, 1 cross uh, 1, 0 minus 5, correct? So let me use the method of matrix to find the cross product. So we'll say i, j, k. And here we have 2 minus 1, 1, 1, 0 minus 5. So I'll write this as i. These are the unit vectors i, j, k, right? And 1 times minus 2, so that becomes plus 5 minus 0 minus j. Uh, 2 times 5 is 10. This is with negative and minus of minus minus 1, okay, plus k. Uh, 2 times 0, 0 minus minus becomes plus 1, right? So I could write this as... Uh, uh, 5 minus 0 is 5i minus and minus 11 plus 11j and we have uh, k. So that becomes uh, the vector n, right? So that's the vector n and we can now find magnitude of this uh, vector which is normal to both. So the magnitude will be square root of 5 square plus 11 square plus 1 square. So let us use calculator to find the magnitude also. Square root of uh, 5 square plus 11 square plus 1, which is equals to uh, 7 square root 3. So that is the magnitude. So we have already found the normal vector and its magnitude. Let's find uh, the vector P1, P2. Now P1, P2 is going to be we can say 1 minus 0 5 minus 5 3 minus minus 2 that is 1 0 3 plus 2 is 5 so that is p1 p2 now the distance between these two will be projection of P1, P2 on normal, right? On, let's say, N. And that could be found by dot product, correct? So that should be P1, P2 dot N over magnitude of N. So we divide by that, right? Let's find the dot product. So P1, P2 is 105 dot product. N is 5111 divided by magnitude which is 7 square root 3. 
we have to take absolute values of this. 1 times 5 is 5. 0 times 11 is 0, 5 times 1 is 5, divided by 7 square root 3, that is absolute value of 10 over 7 square root 3. Now we can use the calculator, 10 divided by 7 square root 3, and we get, let's write it in decimals, 0 0.8. So approximately 0 0.82 is the distance between these two lines, right? So that's our answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.